hope you're having an amazing Sunday. Um, so uh, what we're going to do today, we're going to uh, create a uh, Salesforce, uh, we're going to attach a file to a Salesforce uh, object using an Apex code. That's what we're going to do today. So I'll make it uh, very short. I don't want it to spend, uh, take much of your time. Um, so what we're going to do, so we will uh, create a simple text file and then we will attach that to a contact object. So I uh, just wanted to uh, show you something before we jump into the development side of it. Uh, so we got something called content version, right? So this is where every, you know, all the magic happens. Uh, so before we need to use the attachment object, now we don't, we're no longer using the attachment object. So we're gonna use the content version instead. Um, this object is available in versions 20 and later for the Salesforce files. Right, so we're gonna do use this. So as I said, we're gonna pick out and choose one contact object, and then we will um, uh, create a text file, which is a very basic uh, file, which has something called this is a test data, right? Um, and then we will attach that file to um, the content version in, in form of a blob, and then we will link it to a content document link, and where we will attach the contact ID. So that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty much what we're gonna do. Sounds simple, right? Okay, so let's jump in. Uh, so the first thing first, you need to log into your org, right? This is your free Salesforce org. You can, if you don't have it, please uh, register for one org. This is pretty straightforward to do that by going to developer.salesforce.com, right? Um, okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump into developer consoles. The way to do that, you got to use um, uh, the scarecrow icon and developer console it will take you to something this here okay so uh, you might see a blank um, console here which is fine um, so what we're going to do so we can either do this in a two ways uh, one is using uh, anonymous window execute anonymous window or we can create a class so just to make it simple we're not going to create any class or or any meta we're just going to do that in, a, in an anonymous window so just to give you an idea what we're trying to do here okay cool so i've already opened my anonymous window so let's uh, dive in so the first thing first we're going to create a content version object so that is content uh, version uh, we're going to say doc where equals new content version right Okay, and now we're gonna have dog where dot content location. So this uh, have, so this is important. So content location. Let's go to our help file. So we're gonna search it here. So you can see the content location. Either it's the document is located within Salesforce. Uh, located outside the Salesforce or located in the social networking. So we are focusing on the first part. So we're gonna do here and we're gonna do S, right? And then we're gonna do, uh, sorry, doc. Um, so we're gonna do doc, uh, doc, uh, uh, come on. Where's dot um, part on client? Uh, so we're gonna give the file name. So what we're gonna do, so we will say uh, demo.txt, right? And we're gonna do doc where dot title. We're gonna give the same file name, so that is the demo.txt, right? Um, hopefully this is the right title, part on client. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a, um, so here we're gonna do, we're gonna create a uh, text file, string text file. So we put some uh, blah blah data. This is a test data, right? Now, but, so what we have to do, we need to create this in the form of a blob. So we do blob uh, text data equals to blob the value of. So we're gonna put this as the text file, right? And so we're gonna do this, okay? And then we're gonna do doc were hopefully uh, sometimes you know the, the problem I have with this anonymous window intelligence doesn't work for some reason see it's not working it I mean it works on when you do uh, an apex class right on when you create a class so that's why sometimes I don't like to 
uh, write a code on anonymous window, but this is a very small task. That's why I thought, okay, we might as well do it here. Okay, so version da data. So we want to assign this version data here. And so we're going to do insert doc where version. Okay, okay, let's see if it's corrected. Okay, so what we're going to do, so we have a text file, we have a content version, so we're creating a content version here. And then we have a doc version dot content location. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that I've spelled correctly. So that's all I'm trying to do here. And doc version title um, uh, equals to this blob text data, uh, whatever it is. Uh, version data. Okay, so what we're going to do just to make sure we're going to put it under try catch. So that's always a good practice, right? When you write a code. Um, so, and this kind of uh, exception ex. Um, Okay, and system dot debug um, ex dot get message. Intellisense works for some, it doesn't work for everything on this window, which is annoying, but okay, that's that's fine. Okay, so now we have inserted the version. So what we're gonna do, so we let's get the version ID from now. String uh, version uh, ID equals to oh, come on. Right, uh, so we're going to do select uh, content document ID from content version where ID equals to um, doc where dot ID and this is going to be dot content document ID. Let me see if I spelled it correctly. So we have version ID. So we have content document ID from content version where ID equals to doc where dot ID. This is the ID that's be generated here. And then this is going to be a content document ID. Okay, sounds good. Right, now we're going to do create another object that is called content document link. Right, let's put this doc link equals to new content document link, right? And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do doc link dot content document ID equals to, we're gonna pass this ID here. Uh, so, right, and then we're gonna put doc link dot linked entity ID. Uh, this one has to be the contact ID, right? Because we're linking uh, this object to uh, to a contact record. So what we're going to do, let's go and look for a contact here. So we're going to go to contact. Uh, you can link it to any ID, any, any object you want, any object ID you want. So, so just to make it uh, simple. Uh, so we're going to link it to um, a contact ID. So we're going to do, what we're going to do, we're going to do probably Captain America. That seems like a good idea. All right. And we got no notes in attachment here, which is fantastic. So we're going to do, we're going to take this boy here and then we're going to, I mean, this is not really a good way to do it. I'm just wanted to demonstrate, you know, you, I mean, you probably won't be hard coding the IDs here. I'm just giving you an example. Uh, how to do that, right? You probably, you know, putting into a list and, you know, assigning it. So whichever way you, you know, uh, because, uh, right, so share type. So this will be I, okay. And, and so doc link dot um, visibility. So I'm just gonna make it to visibility. You see, oh, bloody hell, I can't spell at times. Um, so all users, right? I uh, just wanted to make sure that uh, every user can see it. You can limit to internal users or whatever. Uh, so there are settings there. Um, so if you're going to go look at, um, so we're going to go to, let's look at content. Um, so we're going to look at content document link. You might find it here. 
Right, uh, just a minute. It's just taking a content document link. Okay. So, I mean, uh, the developer.salesforce.com is the best place for all the information you want. You know, it's pretty handy. So let's let me talk about the share type first. So let's go to share type. And I'm just going to look at, see, share type permission, right? So we have all this thing here, viewer permission, collaborator permission. So I've used inferred permission here, right? So for you can look at the options here. And for the other one, uh, visibility, right? Um, so you can go here again and look for the visibility here. And these are pick list, right? So you have different options. So you have all users, internal users, shared users, right? Um, all users, so I just want to make it simple. So I made it that all user. If you want internal user, if you want shared user, you can uh, decide on your business requirement, right? Cool. All right, so that's done. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do insert uh, doc link. Let me see if everything is correct. So what we did, so we have content document link, content document ID, link entity ID, so we have share type now let's run it if it fails we'll fix it right okay so we got something here and let's see if we got any failure right so we got no failure so that looks good so let's look at an object here and so let's refresh this boy again and let's see if we got a data there so voila we there you are we got a demo that text this is all you have to do. Um, you, you can uh, put uh, in, you can even attach PDFs, you can even attach XML, right? So this is how you can do it, right? So this is the easiest way you can do it. So, you know, it took us like, what, 10 minutes? So if you wanted to, if you have a requirement where you need to attach uh, whatever file, you know, let's say you wanted to attach a payment file or you wanted to attach an XML file or PDF file, you know, you can do that using an Apex code. Pretty straightforward, right? It, this is all you have to do, nothing fancy here. You know, I've written a few lines of code, you know, you can, you know, uh, this is not really a neat code, but I just gave you an example of what it's, you know. Uh, yeah, it's, okay, so that's all we have to do, right? Um, so yeah, so that's, that's pretty much we, I mean, I just wanted to cover today. And uh, as usual, my apologies again, if you're hearing noise, I don't know what's going on lately. We got a construction work going on, a lot of people going up and I live in a very small town in New Zealand. It's not very noisy at time, you know, most of the time, but sometimes it's just, you know, it's rubbish uh, because of noise at times. Well, I mean, I, I'm a kind of person, I like, you know, very, I, I like a lot of silence. I like, you know, I like to, I don't like much noise, to be honest. I mean, I, I mean, that's why I moved into a very small town in New Zealand because I like, you know, calmness and, you know, the sound of nature, uh, whatever, you know, sorry, I digress. Okay, so I hope you find some session, uh, sorry, some value from uh, today's session. Um, so check it out, try it out yourself, right, to see how it goes. Um, so this is how we do things. So if you're someone who's been using attachment, so unfortunately, attachment has been deprecated. Um, so uh, this is a way to do it, right? Cool. All right, that's all I wanted to talk uh, about today. Uh, my apologies that today I wanted to cover APIs, but uh, you know I didn't have much time to look into it. So it's been Sunday, right? So busy day. Um, so I'll promise that next time we're going to talk about uh, inbound APIs, where I'm going to show you how to um, expose your APIs and you know without using a code, right? And okay, that's all I wanted to talk to you guys today. So wherever you are, stay safe and have a good Sunday. Uh, greetings and adios.